Hi, I'm Woody O'Brien, hopefully your favorite economist. Good to speak with you again. I'd like to talk a little bit today about farming and farmers and what could be the most critical problem humanity has ever faced. In round numbers, there's about 7 billion people on Earth. And about 1% of those people are farmers. 1% produces the food for literally the, themselves and the other 99% of us. The problem is, is the average age of the farmer in the world is over 60 years old. And the population of the world is growing. Every month, 6 million more people are born than die. And the only thing we all really have in common, all 7 billion or so of us, is that we all need to eat three times a day. You can see where this is going to be a problem as population continues to grow. 10 or 15 years out, we're going to be knocking on the door of 9 billion people. And what's going to happen to those farmers? They're no longer going to be in their early 60s. They're going to be in their 70s, and most of them are going to be retired or unfortunately passed on. So the problem is who, 10 to 15 years from now, is going to feed us? The fact of the matter is, is that we need to get over 100 million young people who are now teenagers or in their 20s to get interested in careers in agriculture. We need to encourage young people to stop thinking about video games and electronics and things none of us can eat. Uh, and start to think about food production. Now, if you're like me, I'm 53 years old. I'm a little bit too old to be a farmer, although I'm happy to report I do now own a farm and looking for someone to farm it for me. Uh, the best thing that those of us who understand this problem can do is start to talk to young people about agriculture and careers in agriculture. Because frankly, if we can't get young people in, interested in agriculture, we're going to be starving right along with them in our older age. Some of the math and, and simulation models I've run indicate that if we don't get a massive number of young people into agriculture, that in 2025, as many as a million people a week could be starving to death. For the rest of us who don't have the capacity to be farmers, we all can encourage young people, but we can also make a goal to start to try and have a goal to at least produce and grow 1% of the calories that we consume. This is a mission critical subject for every person on this planet because literally the growth of population, the aging of the uh, farmers, and the, uh, the planet's need for food for a growing population are headed to a head-on collision in the next 10 to 15 years. It's something almost no one is talking about, but every single young person that we can encourage to get into agriculture potentially saves hundreds of thousands, maybe even as many as a million lives from starvation. It's a task that we've all got to get to right away. I'm Woody O'Brien. Great to be with you again. Most of my work is online at abolishfiatslavery.com. And of course, I do uh, individual telephone consulting and consulting through Skype for individuals and businesses on any economic investment insurance or finance related subject for $100 an hour. Uh, if you're interested and uh, think I can help you, also do consulting on prepping, uh, you can email me at woody at abolishfiatslavery.com.